Okay, good stuff. Any uh, stories come to mind, uh, like a case study that you would uh, want to share, positive and maybe not so positive, when somebody exited and it was the biggest mistake because they did not think of those things? And and another one maybe where you, uh, uh, through your help, uh, they were able to position themselves in a better, into a better place? Yeah, I would say often, probably once a month, somebody calls us to say, I sold my business this year and uh, what can I do? with how do I save on taxes? I heard you could save me on taxes. And the reality is we can save you money on taxes after you've sold your business, but it's a lot easier to do it before. Because the, again, going back to the complexity and the audit risk, when you've sold a business, there's just not as much available options. So I would say that's probably the biggest mistake I make is an entrepreneur waiting until after they've sold the business to address their tax situation. And again, there's some things we can do to triage the situation, but it's nowhere near what we could do beforehand. I'm trying to think, I had one come in last November, I remember he sold his business for 20 million, very sophisticated, intelligent guy. And he had sold the business in May. He didn't hear about us until, uh, I guess it was November and he came to me right before Thanksgiving. And we've since, we saved about a million and a half dollars in his 2023 taxes. We'll probably be able to save him about a million dollars in his 2024 taxes. And we're amending his prior year returns through a, a strategy we use involving solar tax credits. But what he's become is like an evangelist for our business because he's telling all of his friends, hey, these guys, I came to them after I sold and they saved me seven figures in taxes. But I've seen what they've shown me, what they would have done for me had I meet, met them before, we would have saved them about seven million in taxes. So I would say... Get started early. It definitely works in your favor. You don't have to do anything, but tolerating complexity is much easier before you're involved in the sale of a business. Because once you get involved in the sale of a business, the average owner is going to spend 1,500 hours on that sale process between interviewing the bankers and preparing the decks and working with due diligence and interviewing buyers and fireside chats and dealing with the owners and financing and structuring. That's a very busy, time-consuming process in and of itself. Another reason why if you're an investor, it's a lot easier because your business will continue to run while you're going through that process. For owners that are deeply engaged in their business, now they have a second job to get the business sold. Uh, maybe a success story. We had a, a client and they came to us early. They met me through uh, the internet like this and listened to what I had to say. They reached out, they were selling their business. It was gonna be a big chunk of money for them, life-changing amount of money. And we ended up, what I think is most interesting about this case is after we went through all the options, they decided they wanted to pay their taxes. And it was really interesting for me to witness that because most of the people that come to us wanna avoid paying the taxes. And at the end of the day, because this was such an amazing exit for this entrepreneur, what he said was, I never imagined having this much money. And so if I have to give in his case, I think he paid $13 million to the IRS in the year that he sold the business. He'll pay more over time, but that first check was $13 million. And he just said, I have a lot of pride that I could pay this check. I can make my contribution to the country that provided me with this opportunity. Wow. And I don't have to worry at all that the IRS is just going to disagree with me about anything. And I'm going to sleep well, knowing that not only did I was I able to pay a seven-figure bonus to multiple employees in my company, not only am I able to pay the government this eight-figure check that they'll be able to use to fight wars and do whatever else they want to do, but um, getting out of this transaction enough money for myself, for my kids, for my grandkids, and I'm happy about it. Awesome. Interesting values. Wow. you such a variety of the angles one can take by looking at the same situation. And I think it was important for us as advisors to the client not to try and impose on them what we believe or what we might do for ourselves, but really to help them understand what is it that they wanted to do? What was the best outcome for them and for their family? Yeah, I'd love to beat my chest and say, hey, I saved this guy $13 million in taxes, but that's not what he wanted. So... Can we go back 